It is Saturday morning, and this is Michael De Silva's top of the morning. Off to you all, troops, and everybody out there in the Freedom Network land on De Silva's media YouTube channel. How you all doing? I love you, and I wanted to tell you some things. We're going to be featuring El Jones coming up in the next couple weeks in church. Hey, you like to support us? You all find people out there want to support us. This is your chance how to do it financially because it does cost to buy video quick cameras and equipment so we can do the fancy lower third, you know, down there at the bottom of the screen. And we can do the fancy transitions and all that. I know how to do all that, but I need equipment. I need new computers. I need all that stuff. The videos will continue to be free, but I still need help with that stuff. So if you can get that stuff to me, you know, help with donating the, the uh, hardware, the software, this is your time to shine, folks where you can do just that to help us in our ministry here at DeSilvis' Media. So we can get the broadcast out to you. See a nice shot of my smoke detector up there on the ceiling there. Isn't it wonderful? But anyway, uh, but yeah, it works. But anyway, that's the only thing that does. No, I'm kidding. But anyway, if you could donate to us at 7110 New Hunter Road, apartment 423 Mechanicsville, Virginia, 23111, or you can call us at 804-789-9373 to make credit card donations. We can take those two through the phone, or you can just send it to us directly. Uh, we do need money to operate. We need over $50,000 to get new equipment, and we need it from you because that's the only way we're going to be able to do this to make it better. Everybody's been telling me they would like to see me online preaching and teaching. Well, we're going to do just that. And we're going to, we're, we also are a real church at a physical location. This is not just an online thing, okay? Because the Bible says we need to be, a, if we need to meet and go to a church. We need to be in a physical location where we meet. We're not supposed to forsake the assembly. We're not doing it here. This online thing is for the future of congregations. A lot of churches don't do it, but I think they should. But anyway, if you don't want to do it, you don't want to deal with all the technology, bureaucrat, you know, bureaucratic, you know, bureaucracy. I can't even say the word, but all the hard, all the stuff on how to do that. Just send a recording to us, an audio tape. Has to be in wave or MP3 format if you don't want to do a video. Make sure it's in good quality, sound quality. It's very important. No, no hums or any kind of you know sound degradation, so static in the line, please. You know, send us a good audio tape, or if you want to send us a video, make sure it's done well. So we can put it on YouTube and represent your church of Christ with victory and the Lord Jesus. That's what we want to do is share this project. It's not just me doing videos, but it's also you, the audience, and other ch pastors and churches and evangelists. We need your videos for Church of Christ. You can send it to 7110 New Hunter Road, Apartment 423, Mechanicsville, Virginia, 23111. Remember, this is your channel. Let's make a donation. Help out New Hunter Church of Christ. That's this. We need help because we're trying to get a new building. You know, it's over $250,000 for that and $50,000 for our home studio. It's very, and for the church too as well. And we need help with all this stuff. So it's 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 a lot of money. Bandwidth here is $350 a month. We want to reach that over $1,000 a month because we want to be able to do broadcasting. We want to have unlimited bandwidth. It would cost for all that. Servers, you know, processors, high processing, rendering, video machines, drobo, storage devices, soundboards, mixers, you know, all that good stuff that you have in a TV studio is what we need to have here for the internet. Because we want to make you high quality videos with the fancy, you know, lower thirds and the little pictures up here. You know, we want to give you all that stuff because I know how to use all that, but I need the equipment and I don't have it. And we're going to get that in time so you can see how we revolve. Like I said, our address is 7110 at 7110 New Hunter Road, apartment 423, Mechanicsville, Virginia, 23111. Uh, please send all your donations to us. Uh, you can even call us up at area code 804 789 that's 804-789-9373 to make a donation either by credit card or you can over the phone or you can just send in your credit card information. Just make sure it's legible and neat cuz you know, I don't want you I don't I don't I really don't want you to send your credit card information and I'd rather you call it, phone it in and dial it up. Make sure your name is on the card. Don't be stealing somebody's card to do this cuz I know you want to help it. Don't be doing it to steal from others. But do it to be honest, okay? Because, you know, it's a Christian network, and a lot of people that do call, and I assume will be honest. 
So I don't have to worry about this. So I don't know why I said it, but there's a lot of weird things going on, you know. And, you know, just you keep all the bases because this is a nonprofit and we need the help for the studio. The help of the visitors. Videos will become, will always be free, but we need help with the equipment and setup so we can, because uh, YouTube doesn't do all the work. It's a little editing thing, but we do most of the editing on our end. But right now, I've been able to do all that because I don't have all that equipment and the computers I have are a little out of date. So if you could help us out, and the equipment I have is a little out of date, even though it works, but it's, um, it's slow. So if you could help us with that, we would greatly appreciate it, because we want to do this for the work of the Lord, mostly. You know, for Him, for His glory, not for mine or yours, but His glory. That's what we're all working here for. The Church of Christ, we need your videos and your audio files. Please send it to that same address, 7110, new, it's N-E-W, Hunter, it's two separate words, H-U-N-T-E-R, road, all right, apartment 423, Mechanicsville, Virginia, 23111. So you can send that to us in care of New Hunter Church of Christ. But when you send your checks, put the Silvis' media on it. It's capital D, small e, S-I-L. You know, that's capital D, small e, capital S, I L V I S, apostrophe, and then media, like M E D I A. And it doesn't have to be capital or small, but just make sure those words are in to the order up, because that's who it's going through the media company, the business here. And that will help us to and make sure you put it for equipment or for church building. So if you want to help us raise over $250,000 for church building or for the radio station equipment, put that down there in the member, what it's for, so we know where to put the money. Okay? So we need your help. And you will have a lot to do with this to do God's work. Remember, we're not supported by a lot of commercials and media, so we need you as the listener to support us. So give us a good thumbs up. Let us know about more what you want us to do. We, Alex Jones is also on the channel. And other things on there. I got to take off some of that stuff because I don't really care for that other stuff that is on there. I don't know why it's on there, but I got to unsubscribe from some. But Alex Jones is on there, and other Christian people are on there. We're going to hear from E.L. Jones. We hear more from Lennon. We're going to hear from David Jones. We're going to hear from uh, Dan Stalls. And it is just just an excerpt of what's coming up in the future. We got a, I got a lot of sermons to transpose over to YouTube, and I can do this all by law and within all copyright. Remember, this is all for learning and all for fair use purchase, all for fair use purposes only, not to uh, not to steal or to. Uh, you're welcome to use the sermons, you know, in your in your pulpit, but just make sure you cite cite where you got them from. Uh, we want to make sure you understand that because copyright infringement is very serious. And we don't do that here at the Silvices Media. We don't encourage other people to do it either because it is illegal and it is against the law. We want to make that abundantly clear that you follow the same guidelines as a station. So when you are in your sermon and you want to use one of these sermons, just make sure you say where it's from, Pole Green Church of Christ. Say the pastor, or not pastor, but evangelist name, which would be, say, Danny Stalls. And say the title of the sermon, say you're using this because that's what you do. And you want to say that in your sermon if you are using the sermon. And it's nothing wrong to do that, but you need to do that up front with the people. They're not going to think of you any less of it. But when they find out that you're using other people's sermons and you don't give credit where it's due, you could lose your job for that. Not only that, you could face charges and be arrested and, you know, and be brought up on high fines. So it's very important, folks, to make sure you give credit where it's due. Always. And music songs and etc um, we're very very for copyright infringement we're very for the six the very seriousness of it um, and like i said everything you hear like the music on here is fair use and safe harbor access i got permission from all the people way ahead of time to be able to use their material in that matter as well as the music and everything else because i do have a copyright uh license so I'm able to do that on YouTube because I do have the license. It's not with YouTube, but it is through through uh, the record labels. So therefore, you will hear things on here um, that do uh, come from music, but it's because it's been legally cleared and able to put on YouTube. Um, I want to, and also, and also, if you hear other people, I'm not using their stuff. I'm just trying to get them out. And it's all been cleared by them, you can, you know, because they did give me permission, exclusive permission to re-air or broadcast their sermons. So I want to let you know that I did get all the permission and all. So I'm not doing anything shady here or anything. It's not for my glory. It's always for his, meaning God's glory. 
And that's what we're all here to do. So, uh, you know, let's let God's glory shine here and let's all get along and be good followers and stewards for the Lord and help each other out and not try to go against each other. So Mike DeSilvis with the Freedom Network, Revival Network, all on this YouTube channel. So we're encouraged that you come back and look at this. Hopefully this video will look like it's supposed to look like the way it looks at my camera. It's supposed to go straight across from right to left and not go upside down or sideways. So we'll just have to see how that looks. Uh, I'm learning how to use this phone and hopefully I got it down now so it should look like I'm seeing it while I'm recording it right now to you hopefully, Lord willing. And we're going to give you cyber news and give you news about what's going on in the land and about what's going on with freedom. And we're going to be giving you all that stuff too and Alex Jones is on our channel too. Just watch what you watch and uh, give me some feedback. Let me know what you like to do but please be, please be nice. And let me know what you what. Give me some positive, you know, criticism, and give me some, um, you know, really some, um, you know, suggestions. You know, I need your suggestions, but don't please be don't be mean because it's it's hard to do this as it is, and it's hard to do it when you don't have a budget or you don't have people paying you on a daily scale to be able to do this. And this is like a volunteer thing. But if you could help us with the donations, that would be your way of helping to pay me and also to to pay uh, for the equipment and the new technology that we need and that would be the way to show that you really do care so please send it to that address and that way the labor of love can still continue thanks a lot this is michael de silvas the de silvas is media info wars is also on here alex jones and other churches and all remember we're here for freedom because it all has to be a part of that we support guns we don't want the government to take them away. We support the, all the amendments of the Bill of Rights. There's 27 of them and all. And that's what we're here to do. So let's all come together, all Christians. We should not have to give up our freedoms in exchange for tyranny and security. And that's what the government wants to brainwash you to believe. But that's all, in all the countries where that's happened, France, Europe, also in, uh, and also in uh, Australia, they don't have any freedom and they're under a world uh, martial law nationwide we don't need that this is all part of the new world order which i jokingly call disorder because when you look at the plan of what all the actually entails it really is disorder because it only benefits the few and actually does make everyone very poor and very disclandite and they don't have no uh, meaning what i mean is that the people cannot work won't be able to eat won't have power and we don't want to succumb or become a nation like that. America's too has been too blessed and has been uh, privileged to not. We should not have to to bow down to that because of a few bombings here and there. Uh, you know there are bombings all through history, all throughout America. But you know in Boston, when I saw what I what I seen in Boston, uh, really was too far. I don't think a whole. A whole state should be shut down for about a week before they restore it back to normal status. I can understand why the suspects were outstanding and were getting round up. Why they would need to, why they need to road, road, rope off a community. But as far as where people live, where they had nothing in the areas where this was not going on, they had no right to violate other people's freedoms and put martial law in the areas where the criminals were nowhere to be, were nowhere near to be. And I think they overreacted, and I think and a lot of people feel that way. It's not just me, and that's not freedom. And we don't need to just, you know, have somebody just go in there and say declare martial law because we have a severe thunderstorm or we have a tornado. You know, it's just get, it's ridiculous. You know, freedom is, is really something that is priceless. Our forefathers and presidents before, I would say Bush, really did care about that, uh, senior. Uh, I would say Junior, yeah, Bush Junior. I w uh, cared about freedom, and I think if you look back in your history, you'll see that there were a lot of good presidents that really did look out for freedom in our country. And I think we need to get back to that. We'll get back to the Constitution and the Bill of Rights. This ain't nothing crazy. This is really real documents, and what they're trying to do, they're legal and binding. They're trying to take all that away. So we need to stand up for that, folks. You know, I love you. I love America. And I love the way America always was. And when I was raised, I was in a military home. I know all about freedom and loyalty and honor. And what I see in America is not that today. It's a different America from what I was growing up and raised to believe. 
And I think a lot of people were raised to believe the same thing I was. But we need to have that America stay, the old America, the freedom. Because it's not really old, like a lot of people talk. Oh, we need to ratify all these amendments, man. We got to. Because we got to. Because they're out of date. No, they're not out of date. We just need people to leave it alone because they shouldn't be touched. That's why they were fought. Because all the forefathers seen this happen, that it would happen, come to head today. Like it's doing today. They saw that down the road. That's why they put these amendments in place in the Constitution. To stop that. To avoid that. You know, because people fought and nearly give, have gave their lives for our very freedoms that we do have, or what we do have lack of thereof. So we need to uh, treasure these freedoms, and we need to make sure that we can instill them for our generations to come. Thank you. God bless. Please help us out financially so we can make these videos a lot better. I love you all. God bless. Even if I don't know you, I still love you. And I'll see you with another update. Lord willing, and please help us. Thanks a lot for your support for those that are. God bless you.